<laughs> Tunisia versus Mali will be the next the last match of the day. And the yeah. are, are, are also are also looking for I think they drew their first match, if I'm not mistaken. Tunisia, I think they, 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 they drew their first match. I think they drew their first so they drew match. Their first, yeah. So the last, they should be the one in the last match of the day in Tunisia. Uh, Tunisia will be playing Mali, the Mali side that they have also won, also won their match as well. They are, they are last yeah. match as well. And my two goals to nail. My two goals to nail. Uh, and the Cote they are they are boxing with confidence. Knowing fully well that they have what it takes to also to, to also beat this Tunisian side, that I feel that I think for a long time is one of the weakest Tunisian side that have come to have to correct, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. Uh, I think they have both teams have all to play for in this match. And I think Tunisia will be scared that if for eventually they lose this match today, they will pack their bags and off they go to Tunis. Uh, but Mali knows that they win today will spend their place in the round of 16. We also keep them in the tournament uh, to see what, what they could do to qualify for the quarterfinals as well. So how do you think the Tunisians who have their backs on the wall approach this match, knowing fully well that a lose today will send them back to Tunis and they will keep them in Cote d'Ivoire? To be sincere with you, bro, I think that the fact that Tunisia needs to win the game to stay in the tournament makes it a six-pointer for them. Because uh, if they do not capit capitalize on the victory, uh, they would suffer much loss. So I think um, for Mali, they, 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 they think they punch above their weight and won by two goals today against the team. Everybody expected them to, you know, to have a, a, a tough time against. But for Tunisia, after that loss. I um, mean, um, their captains Oscani's 100 game in, in in the in colors of the Cardiff Eagles of Tunisia. You know that was a milestone for their captain Sagni, a guy who has been in, has been in the Afcon for a very long time. It now looks like a furniture, uh, but they were beaten. So I think for Tunisia they must win. They must win. It's a must win for Tunisia. Uh, remember Tunisia last time out when they beat Nigeria in the round of six, in the second round and for the round of sixteen at the African Cup of Nations. It was Sagni that led that team. And I said something about Osagni. If, if a man as old as Osagni is still the, the main bone of your midfield, then there's a problem. I don't think they have, um, re, re, like I say, re, 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 renewed the team or, like I say, uh, rejuvenated, exactly as a word, the team uh, as much as you would expect. I, for once, I want to agree with you that it is far, far, by, by far less than, less than the, less the team they brought last time out. And it could be one of the worst team ever to have, they have, to have brought to a, an AFCON. This is an AFCON where everybody uh, tell them to go very far because of the, play, the teams in their group. Mali, to be sincere, they've not been, they've not been consistent. Though know, they won their first game before the, the game, they've yeah, got the some players. They beat Safira 2 Exactly, and, uh, but and lost uh, by a long goal. They long no. by, by, two, by a long goal to Namibia. As well. Exactly to Peter Shula. Oh, Peter Shula Lily. We got to that tomorrow. That's a play I love. Uh, but uh, we need to say it as it is. For Tunisia, Tunisia to to Namibia it was a blow, a huge blow. Namibia, that's Namibia's first ever win in the Afcon. Yeah, first ever win in the Afcon, and then for you to lose in such a manner. It's sad. Not as if that Tunisia were totally in dominate, dominated the game. I remember had a, a good game in that encounter. They had their own saying, a major say in that game. And that's why I felt sad. It was a little bit Tunisia were dominant. Was, okay, this is a purple patch, just a bleep. They will come up, uh, they will move forward. And that but unfortunately, it's not it's not the truth. I would be lying to myself if I had if I say that. For Mali, they got a great a great win, a massive win, yes. I must say that two-day victory against a South African team who has been inconsistent. I must tell you. So that's why I said, and that's why I said Tunisia must win this game if they really want to be be looked at as one of the favorites to win. Even if they, they don't win the game and they draw this one and they, and they beat South Africa, which I think they will likely beat South Africa because I'm still not sure of South Africa and what they bring to this Afcon and qualify. They will not be taken serious. So this is a game they must win. This Mali team has got players, like I said, playing in top leagues in Europe: Busuma, the Kore. Uh, they've got players um, in the midfield as well. Who, are, uh, who, who have shown that they they, 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 they they want to play? You know they can play. Yeah. They got a, yeah. the strength of the Malian team is their midfield, is the core of their midfield. They've got a great midfield this Malian team, and uh, that is their strength. For the traditional team, it used to be their midfield was stagnant, not anymore. So they need to find a way to you know they don't concede much. 
Look at Tunisia, their record. They always have a good one thing they always have is a very strong back line. They lose the game one nil, one nil. They hardly concede a lot. But to be sincere with you, they don't even score much as well. Uh I would even the last nations cup, they lied mostly of a sack. I think they had three goals in that in that nations cup. So they must find a way to start scoring goals for Tunisia. And then um, they must be able to dominate this game against the Mali team. It's gonna be difficult because Mali has improved in the midfield. They, they look like a better team than where they were last two, three, four years. But Tunisia, if they want to get a they must get a victory. It's a must for Tunisia. They've got some good players playing in the Tunisian league. And out experience of Tunisia. They've got some players playing in Europe as well. Still, some uh, um, a handful of them. Uh, they, on paper, they are the favourite to win this. But come on, what I watched in the first game, I may go with Mali because of what Mali did against South Africa. They made the South Africa team look ordinary. Though yeah. I saw it come, I said it here on the show that for South Africa, they don't look like a team that is serious. When 90% of the players are playing the PSL. So you know when they begin to play against team players who come from Europe, you can't really gauge them because you don't most of let me see here, most of the players who came from South Africa and have gone abroad, they have failed and they've gone back. Even Pasetao went to Brighton, it didn't happen for him, and he ran back to the to the Asa, to South Africa League, and then all of a sudden he ran back to uh to the edition with Al Ali. So it, it is what it is. I think. Mali, I, I've got the upper hand in this encounter, but Tunisia must be to must be to silence the naysayers and at least, you know, find a way, I repeat, to get a result in this encounter, at least to let their fans know that it's not as bad as it was because watching the Namibia game is, is a, as a Tunisian fan it was, it was excruciating. I don't know how they managed to, to scale through that full game without without smashing their TVs. Is that bad? Because they, they didn't they didn't turn up on that day. They did not turn up on that day at all, at all. They were second best, and they need to at least now prove a point and let everybody know that what happened there was a proper patch. We are still Tunisia of old. We can compete at the AFCON. Okay, good. Uh